Hi everyone, this is Rob and uh, this is our place, the Chateau de la Griffray, which we've owned for a few years. Now we're out here in rural France, which means that the internet is not great. Um, they talk about fiber, la fiber, coming soon, but it has not come and it keeps not coming. And so we finally pulled the plug. Starlink dropped its price to $300 for the equipment and $50 a month. And so we said, you know what, we got to do that. Got a bunch of college students coming out here, 26 of them, and they need the internet. Uh, 10 megabytes down per second will not cut it. And so very exciting, very exciting. We're going to go find a place where we can install this bad boy. This lot presents huge challenges for Starlink, which needs an unobstructed view of the sky. And we have some 200 year old, uh, I mean, that's a Sequoia. And then we have a Cedar of Lebanon over here and they're all over hundred feet. We have some Oaks that are over hundred feet. And, and of course the Chateau itself is 80, 90 feet tall. So to try to find a place to get this uh, dish in uh, will be challenging. Now Starlink has a great app uh, when you, uh, are thinking about buying you can just download the app and then you walk around and you point the app at the sky and it shows you how many obstructions you have and how many satellites you got and our first choice the first location that seemed to work out quite well was actually on the top of that trellis right there uh, that had a pretty good view of the sky you can see that tree but actually it just sort of cleared it so when we started we thought maybe that except again too far away from the chateau probably probably 125 feet and we don't really want to trench it we don't really want to pay a hundred dollars for another cable so we kept searching our second spot of choice was uh, the top of the train station now it actually has a pretty good view of the northern sky uh, even though there's all these big trees and again the massive chateau uh, the angle works out so that you actually get a pretty good view of the sky but problem that's a long run from the house 75 foot cable would definitely not do it. You'd have to go upgrade to the 150 foot cable and you'd have to trench it, which is no fun. Our final option and perhaps the best option was to go up to the roof. Now that's no small challenge because we're looking at 80 or 90 steps up and then, and then a ladder and then you go out onto the roof and it's quite high, it's quite dangerous. And again, the roof is complicated. It's not like you just put it on the high point. There's points all over the place. So you may still have, have instructions. So here I am grizzled at the end of a long day. I haven't showered yet today. I'll work all day. And, uh, you know, we finally got it in, but we want to go back and let's, uh, we want you to watch the whole process. So watch us unbox it and uh, check this Starlink out. Pretty cool. We got something in the mail today that we are really excited about. Starlink. Starlink. So we're going to do a little unboxing now. And let's take a look. Let's see. It opens it up. Whoa. I believe it's called Dishy. Dishy. Yeah. So here's, okay. here's the stand that's included. Great. Okay. Pop that down. What else we got in there? I think just it. This is the satellite and the rotor. Cool. Actually, let's put this in. And a pile of cable. Mm hmm Yeah, that's something. And then... That's the rotor. Mm hmm And the Wi-Fi. Now, amazingly, they don't give you an Ethernet connection, which... Heaven forbid. You're kind of like, guys, come on, that's it. But it should be quick to set up because there's only two connections. So this is pretty cool. The satellite is uh, moving. The dish is moving to catch the satellites. And by the way, that 75 foot cord is actually longer than I thought. Like, you know, it doesn't get us to the house, so we're gonna have to move it, but that, that's a pretty good distance. You know, honestly, this could not be simpler. You plug in, uh, you know, that end was already plugged in. You plug one connection in here and you plug in the power and then you go to your app and it just kind of all does it. I mean, you just press next and the speed, you know, of course I'm, I'm sitting with the laptop right in front of the router, but let's take a look. Okay. We got a ping of 43 and look at the internet speed. Yeah. We're up over 200 already. I mean, that's awesome. That's a game changer because we were sitting we're supposed to have 20, but it was really coming in at less than 10 most of the time. And our upload was about half. And, and so it would sometimes take us 16 or 17 hours to upload a YouTube video. So this is going to mean we can, we can film in HD, which is awesome. So the students are going to have some faster internet this year. Normally when you're putting in one of these guys, you know, putting it on the roof is a good move. And of course this house, is so tall that getting it onto the roof is challenging. Challenging. I mean, we could put it up on the chimney up there. 
But my idea is to try to use this pole. Now, this is not gonna be simple. Um, how do you get up to that pole? I think what you gotta do is you gotta lower the pole. And my idea is to try to come in here and loosen those and see if the whole pole comes down. And then we could mount it on the pole theoretically and then raise the pole back up. So we'll see if it works. Well, this has been good progress. I believe the sun is going down, but we got it all the way down to there. So it's, I can almost reach out and touch it. And inside, the pole is to a place where we can take this apart and see if it fits while we're on the ground. All the way down there. So if this works, if we can attach this to the top pole, then we just pop it on there and shoot it up. And, and that'll be like 80 or 90 feet up in the air. So by way of perspective, I think we have about 90, 95 steps and then another 13 feet of ladders to get up to where I was. And then on top of that was this pole, which is 12 feet. I had a dickens of a time getting it down. And then there was two poles. So I don't know how high they had their antenna, incredibly high, but I mean, this should be the highest dishy in, in Boge, I'm thinking. Honestly, the hardest part has been taking down the old one, I think. The new one's gonna be a lot easier. Just pop it on and jupe. Now I gotta take this pole out and then get the big pole in, and then we'll get the dish up. Cool old French houses. We started with the Starlink dish out there, and we had maybe, you know, it was pretty good. It was like one, two percent obstructed, so we'd have maybe one obstruction an hour, you know, maybe seven seconds or 20 seconds. Not a big deal. Then I tried moving it closer, and the house, of course, this big, huge house, was in the way all the time. So, like, every four minutes, we'd have an obstruction, and it would just kick out for 10 seconds. And so, we're going to take it upstairs. Uh, now, you can get a mount. You can pay money to get a mount. But I got this pole here that was already in the house. And sure enough, they fit pretty good. So, I'm just going to put the pole through and then drill a couple holes and throw a bolt through there. And, and then maybe duct tape it up. Should hold nice. No need to spend 30 or $40 for the custom mount. As I drilled through the pole, it occurred to me, you know, Starlink is not a normal company. What if that whole pole is jammed full of electronics? That would have been a burn. So after I got the hole all the way through, I thought, let's hook it up and make sure it works before we do all the work to get it up on the ceiling. So booted it up, and it is pointing to the sky. That is a promising start. All right. We got her hooked up now. We'll see if it goes. We're going to do a tester. And we've got it plugged in to this guy right here, and it will take a moment. That is definitely promising. It's searching the sky, looking for north. And in a few minutes, we'll find it. And in, in the meantime, you can enjoy the beautiful uh, roof line of this chateau. The big question is, are those peaks going to be in the way? And they very well might be. But we have another pull. We can raise this thing up higher if we need to. We'll start with this and see how it is. The end of a long day and I think we've got it. Do you see it? Do you see it up there? Let's see if I can zoom in for you. See it right up there? Boom. Nice and high. And it was a challenge to get on, wasn't it? We we're doing our whole roof in about a month. And if it wasn't for that, I would never have gone up there because you don't want to break those slate tiles. But I know they're all getting changed in a month, so I wasn't too worried about it. So far, so good. Uh, no outages, speeds between 150 and 200 megabytes per second, down uploads 20 to 30. So that's, uh, we'll take that too. And uh, very thankful, much better than what we were getting in here in rural France. Thanks for joining me on this little adventure.